I want to go to three passages of Scripture. Psalms 37. There I'll read verse 23 and 24. Psalm 66, verses 10 through 12. And then put your hand on 1 Peter 5 and 10. Psalm 37, 23 through 24. Psalm 66, 10 through 12. 1 Peter 5. And at verse 10, we ask that you would stand for the reading of the word of the Lord. Lord, I praise you. Psalms 37 and 23, there you will find these words. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Psalm 66 and 10. For thou, O God, hast proved us. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. Thou broughtest us into the net. Thou laidest affliction upon our loins. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. But thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. First Peter 5 and 10. But the God of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Remain standing for just a few moments. We live in a time where everything seems to be on sale. Everything is discounted. Things that we once paid a higher price for, you can now go to Walmart and get it at a discounted price. The problem is because it is cheaper, it's made out of cheaper material, which means it's going to break and wear out quicker, and you got to go back and buy it again. Folks are always looking to cut corners. Come on, somebody. Ah, to achieve their goal. We're not willing to pay the price for quality. We want the hookup. We want the discount. Yet God has ordained a process to greatness called steps. I know it may seem costly. I know it may seem lengthy. But I'd rather be called a son than a bastard. Y'all don't like my talk. I'd rather be legitimate than to be popular. So brothers and sisters, instead of taking the shortcuts, I'll take the steps. That's what I want to talk about today. For just a few moments, I'll take the steps. 
If you agree with that word, look at somebody. Look at about three people and tell them, I'll take the steps. I'll take the steps. Yes, I will. I don't want no shortcut. I'll take the steps. Hey! Yes, sir, I'll take them. Spirit of the living God. You're already here. You're already moving. You're already touching. Now speak to us in this place and let your word not return back until it has accomplished all of that you sent it out to do this we will tell you thank you in Jesus name amen you may be seated for just a few moments Webster's even Oxford's dictionary gives us the definition of steps. And I know for some of us astute people, it would seem, um, praise the Lord, unnecessary to uh, give a definition for steps. But I thought it necessary in order to contextualize this message to give you the definition of steps. And in this definition, there are three parts. Somebody say three parts. The first one is the distance traversed by moving one foot ahead of another. Step. That denotes forward movement, meaning it is intended that I don't stay in the same place and I don't stay stuck in the same cycle and in the same situation, but I am to put one foot in front of the other, move forward. Next, one of a series of actions, processes, or measures taken to achieve a goal. One of a series of actions, processes, measures taken to achieve a goal. Steps, i.e. the process. There has to be some steps. You ever bought something in the store, in the box, and on the box there's a beautiful picture of this wonderful uh, uh, cabinet Beautiful desk. You can already see the flowers that go on it. But then on the side of the hall it says some assembly may be required. You open up the box. And there's a booklet called directions. These are the steps to achieve a goal or an outcome. Uh-huh. The, process. the process. And last but not least, it is a series of steps or flights, flat surface, for, from passing from one level to another. We call those stairs, but stairs are a series of steps that causes you to go from one level to the next. Oh my God. And we would call that promotion. So today I want to talk from these four points. 
and then we're going home. I ain't going to try to shout you. If you ain't shouted already, pull you. I ain't going to try to get you happy again, because if you couldn't get happy in this kind of happen, I don't know what you got. So, the word. Get the word and be blessed. I want to talk about prescribed, processed, perfected, and promoted. Can I do that for just a few moments? Prescribe, huh? Process, perfected, and promoted. The first thing I want to impress upon you today is that your steps have been ordered by God. The Bible says the steps of a good man are ordered by who? The Lord. They are ordered. They are prescribed. It is important for you to understand the nature of God because God is not a temporal being, but God is eternal. Meaning that he dwells in eternity and not in time. Meaning with God there is no past, present, or future. There is just is. God and all of his isness. When he would speak to Moses and Moses would ask the question, Lord, the people are going to ask who sent me and, 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 and what do I tell them? Who, who do I tell them sent me? He says, tell them that I am. I have sent you. I am that I am. Praise the Lord. That, that's, what, that's what really essentially Yahweh means. I am that I am. The self-existing God. He, he just is. He, he, he's, he's in the Garden of Eden and he's on, praise the Lord, Mountain Moriah and he's at the cross and he's standing with us right at this present time because he is not in time, praise the Lord, but he is eternal. Hebrew says, Olam, Olam, from everlasting to everlasting. And your everlasting God looks at your situation and he knows the ending of the situation while he is standing at the beginning. So while you are going through something, God can, uh, uh, praise the Lord, tell you very well that you're coming out of the situation even though you haven't went through it yet. Oh, they're quiet in here, Lord. Because he knows the end of the thing from the beginning. And this God has prescribed these forward motions in your life. Yes, God has ordered your steps. They have been prescribed. He created you. He made you. He, he knows your temperament. He knows how much you can take. He knows the limit and the pressure. Hallelujah. Praise our God that, that, that you are under. And I know some of you feel like you're in a situation that if one more thing goes wrong, you're going to go cuckoo for Cocoa Pops and, and, and your brain going to go snap, crackle and pop. But the truth of the matter is when you act like that, God turns it up just a little bit tighter and he turns the heat up just a little bit hotter because he he knows how much you can bear. Oh, they're quiet in the sanctified church. He knows. He, he, he just realized that you just don't want to go through anything. Huh? He, he, he realized that you, and if I had my way, if I, if I could choose the path that I'm taking, praise the Lord, there would be no hills because I'm fat. There, 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 there would be no mountains. There, there, there would be no uh, 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 wild animals. There would be no trouble along the way. It would be just a straight, plain path. The only problem with that, I'd be the same jacked up booger I was when I got to my destination than I was when I first started. 
And see, with God, it's not all about the destination, uh, but it is about the journey that you're going through. It is the journey that you learn who God is. It is the journey that you understand that the ways of our God are worth finding out. Can I talk for just a few minutes? He ordered my steps. And, 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 and that's kind of disturbing sometimes because you think about all of the stuff that you've been through, right? You think about all of the things that have happened in your life and all of the people that have done you harm. And, and somehow we want to just blame the devil. And, and while the devil is very real and the devil does some things, I came to show you something. I come to tell you a truth. And the truth of the matter is the devil could not do any more than God has allowed him to do in your life. Let that soak in. Let that soak in. I, I know you don't like it. I know that, that that seems kind of crazy. But I want you to think of the most horrendous and horrific thing that you have ever had to go through. Amen. The most tragic thing that you have ever had to process in your mind. Amen. And, and, and the thing that you gave comfort to yourself in that the devil did it. But amen. How can the devil who is, praise the Lord, Glory to God, in control by God. God controls him. How can he do anything save he get the permission from God to do, y'all don't like my talk. He gets the permission from God to try you. He gets the permission of God. And, and, and why would God allow an evil being to test me? Why would God allow a man, me, to go through some trouble? Uh, that's a good question. Your steps have been ordered by God. Your steps have been prescribed by God. I want you to say that with my steps have been prescribed by God. It's been prescribed. It's all your life script has already been written. Amen. Where you're going, the winding paths, the mountains, the valleys, glory to God, hallelujah, the persecution. It's all, praise the Lord, been prescribed by God. I know, I know this is not going too well for some of you because you want to blame the boogeyman. But I want you to understand this. He he says this. He says, uh, uh, uh Minister Troublefield, that the steps of a good Good man are ordered by who? The Lord. And, 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 and if that wasn't worse, he says, and he, the Lord, delighteth in his way. In other words, God ordered the steps and God is glad that you're going through the steps. Because God is not as concerned about your flesh as you are. You love to comb your hair, and that's all right, you should. You love, pray the Lord, to put on nice clothes, and you should. You love to primp and, to, you know, get rid of all of the blemishes and stuff, and you should. All of that as well. But, but, but God, amen, in an effect to make a better you, to put you in a position, amen, to go into the destiny that he has prescribed for you, sometimes your flesh don't want to go through anything to be made anything. It's just like children sometimes. We're, we're lazy and slack with how we raise our children. Just because they want to lay in the bed all day Saturday, you'll let them lay in the bed all day Saturday and you make them good for nothing because when it comes time for them to learn how to work and hold down a job and take care of themselves, they're not prepared. Y'all don't like my talk. Because the flesh don't want to do anything that's going to make you break a sweat. That's why it's hard to get folk to praise the Lord. They don't want to break a sweat. They spend an hour on their hair. That's why they were late to church. Praise our God. They, 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 they had to crease them pants just right. And you mean to tell me I'm going to sweat and holler in, 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 in my Gucci? I'm going I'm to dance with all. Oh, no, baby. You ain't going to get me to act up with all of that because of flesh. Wants to hold you down. But your steps have been prescribed by God. Now notice this. He says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And God even delights in that way. But notice what else he says. Though he fall. So that lets me know that my falls 
were calculated in the steps. Ah, uh, they quiet up in here. Woo! I said the fall was calculated in those steps because they were ordered by God. The mess up was calculated in the steps. They quiet. The failed relationship was calculated in the steps. Yes, the repossession was calculated in the steps. The persecution was calculated in the steps. I know you feel like you are in a place and you are all alone and you're by yourself and you're like, God, do you see me here? And I'm coming to tell you, God knows that you are there because he calculated the steps. Yes, he looked at you when he created you, when he formed you out of the dust. And he breathed into you the breath of life. He, he knew exactly how much you could take. And he calculated your steps. Oh, look at somebody says, my steps are calculated. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He, he calculated because he says, even though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. The church should be going wild right now. He shall not be utterly cast down. Y'all should be swinging on these fans right now. Why? Before the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. And, and why should I be swinging on the chandeliers? And why should I be dancing and shouting? Because, praise the Lord, at least 100% of you all in here have failed before. Ah, yeah, I, I'm saved, sanctified. Holy Ghost filled, five baptized. I spoke in tongues. I, I've been down in Jesus' name and spoke in tongues when the Holy Ghost came. Yeah, you did all of that, but be honest and tell the truth, you failed. They quiet in the sanctified church. Amen. I, I, I know you've been saved all day long, and I'm so glad, but, but I, I come to inform me, you failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you start telling your testimony about how you laid hands on the sick and the sick recovered and how the blinded eyes can, don't forget to tell the real testimony that, that in spite of the goodness of God, hallelujah, you fail. You fail, you fail. You, 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 you have not always been on the earth, but you fail. And, 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 and it is going through failure that gives me compassion on somebody that may be going through a, a season in their life of failure. It is me realizing that one day I was down that gives me love and grace for somebody that may be in a struggle. Because God, when he saw me in my struggle, he didn't throw me away. I wish I had about 10 of you that could praise God that he didn't throw you away. That, 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 that he didn't give up on you that he didn't pray the Lord say that there's no more salvation for you and, and there's no more chance for you and, and now nah, don't even go back to the church and, but I fell oh they quiet Lord when you see them going through it and say well if I was them I would do this and if I was you don't know shut up you ain't been, if, if you ain't been through a divorce keep your mouth off of folk that been divorced you don't like my talk up in here. My God, I come from the old hole in this church where they didn't believe in no divorce. So, so if he were beating you upside the head, you had to stay there. They quiet. If he was cutting out on you, you had to stay there. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If she was a witch with pumps on, you had to stay there. And folk, praise the Lord, would go through marital troubles. And it was almost like that same loving church that loved you and enveloped you and brought you in would turn on you and treat you like you are an outcast. Oh, they don't like my talk. Y'all ever seen or read the book by Nathaniel Hawthorne called The Scarlet Letter? That was the church. The church... A man judged Hester Prynne but didn't realize, a man, that the one that messed over her was the preacher. 
And sometimes we fight and judge people because we are judging them for what we see in ourselves, y'all. And see, if you didn't have it in yourself, you wouldn't be able to pick it out of anybody. If you didn't have lust in your heart, you wouldn't be able to pick it out and know. I'm preaching it here today. Y'all sit there. I'm coming right down your road. Hey! If you didn't have it in your life, you wouldn't be able to pick it out. Be afraid of those folk that can pick out everybody's sin. That's not discernment. That's familiarity. Y'all don't like my talk up in here. You you thought they were prophetic and they discern. No, no, no. Spirits recognize spirits. And, 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 And we've become accustomed to dressing up the devil. We've become, amen, praise the Lord, hallelujah, uh, uh, professionals at making it look good when it ain't good. And when you really ain't been delivered, temperance is not deliverance. I can decide that I'm not going to go somewhere because when I get there, I'll be tempted. That's wisdom. I'm avoiding the very appearance of evil. And I suggest if you don't want to get caught up in a lot of mess, learn some temperance. Learn, but, but, but don't confuse temperance with being delivered. Oh, they're quiet now. And sometimes we get used to living temperate and we stop before we get delivered. And God, praise the Lord, will take you through the steps and take you through the fire so that you can get your deliverance. In other words, I don't want you to keep playing and acting like you delivered. I'm going to take you to the fire until it burns all of the hell out of you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all see why I had to preach this one today? Y'all shout and holler all you wanted. This word coming through today. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. God wants you to be delivered. And so the steps. Because see, we got to get to a place where we get back to believing that God is really able to change people. In other words, that, that, that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. And I'm really new. I'm not recycled. I'm new. I'm not recovering. I'm new. But, but, but see, you've got to be willing to take the steps. Because somewhere in the steps is a place called the wilderness. You see, God calls the children of Israel out of Egypt. They are saved. He brought them out of Egypt. Come on, somebody. I'm preaching real good today. He delivered. Egypt is a type of world. Egypt is sin. He takes them out of Egypt. Now, there was a path that they could have taken that would have gotten them there in about 30 days. That's what the Bible says. But the Lord said, no, I'm not going to take you the shortcut. I'm going to take you through the wilderness of sin. Because I've got the proof. Because, see, I have gotten you out of Egypt, but now I've got to get Egypt out of you. You see, true deliverance is not just when you leave Egypt. True deliverance is when you get Egypt. Good God, I feel like preaching. When you get it. Egypt out of you. So you can come up to this prayer line and I can lay hands on you and you can spit and poop and fall out and, and, and get up and today you deliver. Today you feel good. Today you feel holy. I'm preaching better than you saying amen. But then when Monday come and the devil come your way, hallelujah, all hell begin to break loose in your life. You will revert back to your old way of thinking because yes, I got you out of Egypt, but I haven't got your mind straight. And so God says, I don't just want to heal you. I want to make you whole. I don't just want to take you out of Egypt, but I want to take Egypt out of you. I want to take the thing out of you that is dysfunctional. 
I, I want to take the thing out of you that makes you feel like you deserve to be in dysfunctional relationships. It's funny, you get out of one relationship and go into another relationship and you go through the same hell in that relationship in the last one. And there ain't but so many times you can divorce yourself now. Oh, they're quiet in this sanctified church. And, and but so many times you can give up because mo- w- w- there's going to come one time when you're going to realize that you wasn't divorcing him, you was divorcing you. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it really wasn't him. But it's you with a different face. And it's, hey, kata my share. It's easy for, 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 for you to project on them. The fallacies that's in, see, this is grown folk message right here. The fallacies that's in you, it's easy for you to project it on them. But when you go through the fire, when you go through the process, it'll let you come and say, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord. I wonder, do I have any real folks in here that would be man enough or woman enough to stand up and say, praise the Lord, that some of the mess I've been going through, it's not them, it's been me. It was me. I was the one. I was the guilty one. I was the culprit. I'm the one that had the bad mouth. I'm the one that had the bad mouth. I'm the one. I'm the one. I had dad issues. I had mama issues. I had whatever kind of issues. I, it was me. When you can be real and say, I'm the one. The, one. the Bible says God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And the truth he's talking about is not talking about chapter and verse truth. Although that is the truth. He's talking about honesty. You got to worship him in your inner man. And you got to worship him in honesty. Spirit and truth. Come on somebody. Spirit and you got to be honest with yourself and say, Lord, it's me all jacked up. It's me. I'm back here at this altar again. I, I fell off the wagon. Oh, can I preach like I feel it today? Have you ever did good for 30 days and fell off the wagon? Oh, they're not going to be real in this church today. Have, have you ever did good, hallelujah, in avoiding her and avoiding him? You didn't take none of their calls. You didn't take none of their emails. But oh, one day, one day, one day, on a weekday, glory to God, the phone rang and you. I'm a preacher. If you don't like it, I'm a preacher today. Hey, I fell off the wagon. Said I wasn't going to do it no more. I said I wasn't going to do it no more, but I, hallelujah, I, I, I said, I said I wasn't going to say it no more, but I, come on, get this thing, hallelujah, I said, I said that I wasn't going there no more, but I, anybody ever fell, oh, they're quiet, Woo! I said it, I said it, I said it, I said it. I said it. I said, yeah, y'all, you tongue talking folk. I, I said it. I said, I said, I said, no, I ain't going to that website no more. Oh, they're gonna get quiet now. I ain't going to that website no more. I don't like the way it make me feel when I get there. Huh? But I was by myself. There wasn't nobody else in the room. And, and I fell. I fell off the wagon. I fe- anybody ever fell off the wagon? Everybody, you knew he wasn't no good. You knew, you knew all he wanted was a booty call. That's all. He, he wanted a booty call and you wanted to answer the phone. Oh, I'm pre- y'all quiet. Look at me like you want to, but I, you can't do nothing about it. I got the hammer in my hand. Hallelujah. And you fail. Thomas, I've been saved. I ain't got, I ain't got no sweethearts. I ain't, I ain't fornicate. You know why? Because you ugly. Ain't nobody want you. But baby, when you look at all of this isness and all of this goodness, they don't like my talk. I look good. And, and when you look good, you can fall off the wagon. 
In fact, falling off the wagon ain't even about looking good. You can be ugly as homemade sin and still fall off the wagon. Are you understanding the words that are coming out of my mouth? But the thing about it is, when you fell off the wagon, he did not cast you down. Lord, can the real church folks show up to church? Can the real church folks show up? How much come up in here and give God a real praise? Because I really failed, but he picked me up. Praise God. I went through so much, I felt like life had knocked the song out of my mouth. Have you ever been so down you couldn't even sing? Have you ever been so down you couldn't even praise him no more? Didn't even know how to praise him. Didn't even know where to start. Just bring me to the house of God. You ain't got to put me in the front. Just, just, just sit me somewhere. Just, just lay me. Just lay me down. Lay me down. Lay me down. Lay me down. Lay me, lay me, lay me. Hallelujah. Lay me. Lay me right where the saints are. Let me get where they sing in the songs of Zion. Let me let higher. Let me just hear them sing and shout and give God the praise. And after a while, where I felt like that there was no more hope for me, where I felt like there was no more life for me, where I felt like just dying, felt like just blowing my brains out. Hallelujah, because I just felt like I just failed God. But God with his good self will come in and he'll lift you up. He'll lift you on high. He'll clean you up. He'll See, the devil don't like this kind of preacher. He wants a false holiness preacher. What is false holiness? False holiness is acting like you holy because of the things you do. I don't wear this. I don't go here. I don't do that. You cannot do none of all these things and still be a sinner going to hell. What you got on your body ain't got nothing to do with the salvation. That ain't even holiness. Stop letting folk lie to you and tell you that holiness is going around with no lipstick, no makeup, no earring. You know you cannot have no lipstick, no makeup, and earring and still be a hoe. You just a plain hoe. You don't like my talk. You ain't got to wear no perfume and wash. You just be a dirty hoe. You don't like what I'm trying to tell you today. And we let folk lie to us and tell us that's what, that's not what holy, you're holy because of your relationship with God. He made you holy. Holiness is about my relationship, not my performance. Because in my flesh, there dwells no good thing. So I live right out of my relationship. I live right because he continues to change me. And I go from faith to faith and from glory to glory. Every day he is transforming me from the old in. I wish I had some help up in here. Every day I'm becoming more and more like him. And he calls me holy when I'm not. He calls me justified when I just messed up. He calls me friend when the devil wants me to be an enemy. And that's the true message of salvation. Salvation is you not acting like you got a corn cob stuck up your behind. I'm saved. When I see folk acting like that, I ain't even impressed no more. I used, I used to be intimidated by them kind of folk. They come in there, they come in there looking right, stern. The spirit hit them and they. And 
And I was scared. I didn't know what they twitch themselves. They was freaky too. I didn't know they were struggling. They didn't show us that. That's not holiness. And the problem with the church is we're not being honest and true about these young folk that are struggling with stuff. And that's why we can't reach them because we're not being honest. We're playing game with them. But tell the truth. Tell them. Act like you didn't see all of that walk by you. Yes, I did. Saw it. First look is free. Second look gonna cost you something. I just, we just need to be transparent. We need to be. Re- that's how folk, That's how you get folk delivered. And the church becomes a place where folk can come with whatever burden they have and experience deliverance instead of judgment. That's why you got to take the steps. Because you start off one way. By the time you get to the end, the way that you used to, like, have you ever seen a man, like, when he start off, he just hold things right tight. You know, nothing ain't yeah, right. Yeah. You see all that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I ain't going to church with that. Yes, sir. She got pink earrings on. Well, well, well. Pink. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about she holy. Yeah. Pink. In the house, you got a pink blazer on and you say you holy. Yeah. Men don't wear pink. Yeah, they do. Huh? You a woman? And you trying to tell me something? I'm your head. Sit there and be quiet and don't say that. I'm the head here. Yeah, I'm coming for it. I'm a busted wide open. I'm, you know why I'm a busted? Because the real church got to emerge. All of that witchcraft in the church got them women hemmed in. Those women are suicidal. Those women are depressed. And if they didn't think they would go to jail for leaving their husbands, a lot of them would be divorced. We've created a culture of bondage. Oh, but I'll take the steps. Woo, I'll tell you, Nasia, I'll take the steps. I'll be an outsider. They're waiting to get a piece of me right now. They make them feel better just to give me a piece of their mind. I ain't trying to be buddy buddy with none of them. Because I come to deliver them too. They need deliverance. When, oh, can I get? I'm late. A girl that gets pregnant in the church and not married. We are more concerned of the embarrassment that she caused us from getting pregnant than we are from the broken system that allowed her to run into the arms of a man that just wanted her body. See, you don't like my talk because I'm going there. We're we're, we're too busy trying to vilify her. And and where is the kid that did the thing? And then why did it happen? And you mad because you did the same thing. You just covered it up. Your parents sent you out of town somewhere. Talking about some of the new church, this new thing. No, they've been freaky. Ask your bishop why there's so many of the heads of them children look like his. And his wife ain't birthed but maybe three. See, they don't like this kind of preaching. Because it's real. 
But you know why I can preach like this? Because I'm taking the steps. I'm ta- and, 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 and sometimes taking the steps is a lonely place. Because folk rather play the game than be delivered. Folk rather, praise the Lord, act like there's somebody going to hell because they really ain't holy. We need some realness. That's why you got to go. When you go through the process, baby, can I tell you something? When you've really been delivered because you've been through the process, there is nothing anybody can say that can embarrass you anymore. It's the secrets that you like to keep is what got you bound up. It's them family secrets that don't nobody want to tell. What happens in here, baby, stay. And that's why you bound. Your children become teenagers and they stop talking to you. You know why? Because they don't know what they can say and what they can't say. Everything is taboo. And you taught it to them. You need some deliverance. You first of all need to be delivered from lying. Because you perpetrating a life that ain't true. What a mighty God. Huh? We, we, we want it to look good, y'all. Look good. And live in hell every day of our life. That's why you got to go through the process. Look at somebody say process. The steps will process you. When you have been delivered, you won't care what nobody knows. As long as somebody got something held over your head, they control you. What I learned to do, I just tell it before anybody else tell it. Once I tell it, it ain't got no more power over me. Is, is you the one that did? Yeah, that was me. You did. That's yes, shy, and I did it. I did. And you know what the verdict is? Not guilty. Come back. Come, come, come again. Come again. Come again. I did it. Yeah, I, I did it. But you know what the verdict is? What? Not guilty. You know why? He dropped the charges. Oh, I can't get no help up in here. He dropped the charge. Yeah, I did it, and I'm not guilty. So if he already declared me innocent, why do I care what you think about me? Get in some kind of... The Lord showed me... Come on, let him show you all of it. Because cause let me tell you something, while he's showing you all about me, somebody's going to be seeing everything about you. Yeah. Unclean, unclean, there's something unclean in the inner. Yeah, you! <laughs> Only a buzzard dick of old dead nasty stuff. You say it's a prophecy, it's a buzzard, it's a scavenger spirit. Lord, I'm losing my audience today. Look at somebody say you got to be processed. It's a process. And don't make folk act, think that they got to be just like you. Now, now you got the Holy Ghost. You speak in these real sophisticated tones. Eko, tababas, kotia, iskiri, talu, iskatai. You, 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 you speak in them sophisticated tongue. One person, they get in there, that, 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 you like, that ain't the Holy Ghost. Yeah, they know. Hold up. You know you wasn't speaking like that when you first got saved. The Bible says it's called being born again. A baby talk 
don't talk like a grown-up talk. A baby said, da, 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 da. When I get older, I can say, Father. But before, da, 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 da. Abba, 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 which actually means Father. In the Hebrew, you ain't ready with me. Abba, 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 da, 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 da. But he's still talking. He said, y'all don't like what I'm trying to say. Some of y'all, that, that wasn't the Holy Ghost because it didn't come through fluently. When did you speak fluently? I'm just trying to give you some good wisdom here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm in the church with the Holy Ghost and you making them believe they ain't got it because they're not. Eat it at least. You've been speaking for 20 years. I'm trying to help the church. You sound like a chipmunk. Well, chipmunks got language too. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? I'm just trying to help you. You got to go through the process. In fact, get out of everybody's business. Stop worrying. Listen. Rejoice with them that do rejoice. Weep with them that do weep. And go home and mind your own business. If you do that, we can have some church. If you do that, there can be some deliverance. Lord, let me bring this on home because... I'm out there now. Whew. Lord, this is good to me. My musician done got far away from me. If I wanted to tune up, my God. Process. But then, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Ooh. He'll perfect you. David said, the Lord will perfect that concerns me. So, 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 so you judge me. You, you, you just judge me in my pre-perfected season. You, you understand. But see, the Lord will. Lewis, the, it's a, say that again. It's a what? Guarantee. It's a guarantee. The Lord will perfect. If y'all believe that, y'all be tearing up these chairs right now. Because whatever in your life that has not been perfected, the Lord will perfect that. They didn't get it. Thank you. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Y'all there? Y'all with me? Y'all with me? But the God of all grace, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, that after, somebody say after, not before, but after. See, they don't like them kind of prophecies. But after that ye have suffered, how long? A while. That's First Peter 5 and 10. After you have suffered, how long? A while. How long? That just sounds long, don't it? But I reckon... That the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed. Y'all ain't hearing what I'm saying? After you have suffered, put that up there on the screen if you can find it. After you have suffered, oh wow, look at somebody say, you're going to suffer. Just a while. Just, 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 just a while. It's, it's going to be a while. Uh, wow. Just understand it's going to happen. If I didn't know it, then I couldn't stand it. But I know it. I know it. Something is going to happen. After you have suffered a while, what is going to happen? It's going to make you. Make you. See that? 
God is trying to make you. Say that God is making me. God is going to make and See, the make you, everything after that is what he's making you. After you have suffered a while, he's going to make you. That word perfect is mature. He's getting ready to grow you up. You know some of you that church hop every time you get mad. You just need to suffer a little bit. So you can grow up. Preacher made me mad. I'm going to go find another church. Grow up! They talk about me. Grow up! Because I promise you, when you get down to the next church, they got miles down there. Somebody asked you sometimes, do your dog bite? He got teeth, ain't he? I'm quite sure he bites. Has he bitten anyone yet? No. You might be the first. After you have suffered a while, he's going to perfect you. Oh, my God. He's going to mature. When you see folk that ain't easily affected by stuff that folk do and say, they've been through some stuff. Come on, somebody. He said he, he will make you perfect. He will establish. He's going to establish. He gonna, somebody needs to get established. You keep beginning over and over again. You, get, you need to get a place to get established. After you suffered a while. I know this ain't no house and car message, but Lord have mercy. This is helping somebody here today. He, he's going to establish. Look at somebody say, he's establishing me. Oh, when you get established, the enemy can't shake you any kind of way. I'm established. I've been through some stuff. They used to sing song, you can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him. You can't make me doubt him in my heart. Oh, you can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. Oh, you can't make me doubt him. That's an established person. If I got to wait a little bit, I'm established. I'm going to wait. Them ones that can't wait, that's because they're not established. And you better choose the people you hang around. You better stop confiding in folk that ain't established nowhere. Lord, it ain't got quiet up in here. How you establish, rooted and grounded, and you confiding and taking advice from somebody that ain't even established, what can they tell you? You took a step that they ain't even took yet. Perfect. Establish, strengthen. You know what the Bible says, Proverbs, I believe, 24 and 10. If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. If when trouble comes and you give up, your strength is small. But if you go through, I'm going to strengthen you. Oh, my God. Who knows God will strengthen you? Who's ever been strengthened by God? And you know, I'm looking at Chanel. I know you strengthened by God. Ain't no way in the world you ought to be sitting in the church looking as pretty as you are, giving God the kind of praise you give him in your right mind with what you've been through. But God will strengthen you. Yes, he will. God will strengthen you. Hallelujah. Pray somebody said, well, what, is, what is her testimony? Go ask her one day. She'll tell you. Glory to God. Hi, but I know one thing. You can go through and God will bring you out. You, you might go through. Oh! You might go through the fire, but God ain't going to leave you in the fire. Y'all with me? I'm bringing it in. My time is up. I let y'all praise God. Let me finish. He strengthened, established, perfected, but then he'll do what? Some folks just need to be settled. 
Ain't, ain't that right? Cared about with every wind of doctrine. I heard prophet so-and-so in town. I need to get me a word. You need a word when you carry the word every day. You must ain't got no life of prayer. Because if you go out and pray, God will give you a word. Because don't you know your steps? Anything that somebody else tells you should already be confirmation of what God told you in your life of prayer. If I got to go somewhere to, for God to talk to me, that means I am just not living nothing. Because God will talk to you. God will say, don't go there. God will say, no. Nah. God will say, God will say, that business deal that you was about to make, don't do it. Wait on me. I got something better. He'll talk to you. Y'all ain't, oh, y'all ain't talking back at the preacher today. He will settle you. Oh my. It's a wonderful thing to be settled. It's a wonderful, because you ain't moved by every wind of doctrine. Hebrew is lights, they come, I ain't moved. Jehovah's Witness come knocking, they just, I ain't moved. Praise the Lord. Some of y'all are scared of every little thing you hear. That's because you ain't settled. But when you get settled, And going through will settle you. Let me finish this. I'm wrapping this up. Finally, there's a place called promotion. Pro motion. Pro forward motion. Word. Motion. Listen up what the word of God says. He says, Hallelujah. Psalm 66 and 10. For thou, O God, I'm bringing this in, have proved us. Didn't he prove us? Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. You've been tried in the furnace of affliction. Thou brought us us into the net. All captivity didn't come from the devil. Some captivity came from God. Some captivity come to save your life. Sometimes you were told no because if you were said yes, you wouldn't be here today. Hmm. You looked at them as a bully, but they was actually saving your life. Some of them long sermons that you fell asleep on in church kept you from getting down the accident down the street. You brought us into the net. Thou, you talking to God, thou, O God, laid afflictions upon our loins. God did it. Evelyn turned teenage saying the song, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. You know, yeah, I ain't going to kill the song, but some bad things too. Thou latest affliction on my loins. Thou caused men to ride over our heads. You let my enemy win. You let them take me through. Y'all don't like my talk. I mean, God, they talked about me. I mean, they put my business out there. And I know all I was trying to do was serve you. What do you do when it looks like an enemy winning, doing the wrong thing, and you losing, doing the right thing? It happens sometimes. That was caused men to ride over our heads. I'm bringing this in. We went through the fire. 
And we went through the water. AP said, I went through the fire. I went through the flood. Come on, somebody. Anybody been through fire? Say yes, Lord. Anybody been through the flood? Been there. But I got another testimony. I've been through the fire. And I've been through the flood. Ain't that all right? But God didn't leave me in the fire. God didn't leave me in the flood. Somebody say yeah. But what he did, he brought me out. Somebody ought to praise God because he brought me out. Say yeah. I don't feel no ways tired. I come too far from where I started from. Evangelist Scott, nobody told me that the road would be easy. But I don't believe that he brought me this far to leave me. Say yeah. I've been through the fire and I've been through the flood. But he brought me out. I've been in such a hot place. I didn't think I was coming out. But the Lord brought me out. Say yeah. I've been in a place where I was drowning. But the Lord brought me out. Can I preach like I feel it today? I've been through the fire. And I've been through the flood. But the Lord brought me out. And not only did he bring me out. But then the Bible said he brought me out in a wealthy place. In other words, God will take you through. But he'll bring you out better than when you went through. God will take you through some negative situation. God will bring you through some stormy life. But he will bring you out and he'll put you in a wealthy place. And I'm coming to tell y'all, y'all are in three places. You're either a man in the middle of a storm or you're coming out of a storm. Or you're getting ready to go into a storm. Yeah. But either way, where you are, God prescribed your steps. Yeah. God ordered your steps. Yeah. And when you come out, yeah. hallelujah, you're coming out in a wealthy place. Yeah. In other words, don't judge me in my struggle. Yeah. Don't judge me in my storm. Yeah. God is about to bring me out yeah. into a wealthy place. Yeah. I dare you to touch three people and say a wealthy place, yeah. a place of abundance, yeah. a place of peace, yeah. a place of perfection, yeah. a place of establishment, yeah. a place of grace. Yeah. I'm getting ready to be promoted. Yeah. I'm going to another level. Yeah. I dare you to look at somebody and say, I'm, yeah. I'm going to another level. Yeah. Ah, see me where I am, yeah. but I'm getting ready to go high. Yeah. That's what the fight has been about, yeah. because God is taking me high. Yeah. That's what the trouble has been about, yeah. because God is taking me high. Yeah. Trouble in my way. Yeah. I had to lay awake at night, yeah. say yeah. yeah, all night long, yeah. but I know Jesus yeah. will fix it. Yeah. After a while, I know it was easy to sit there and keep my mouth shut. I know it was easy to go along to get along. I know it was easy to fit in with all of the naysayers. I know it was easy to take the shortcut. I know it was easy to go to the bargain bar. But I found out that I'm blessed when I learned how to take the steps. I'm blessed when I learned how to go higher in God. 
So excuse me if I don't go with the flow. Excuse me if I'm misunderstood. I decided I'm going to take the steps. I'm going through. I'm going through. I don't matter what others may do. I'll take the way with the Lord's despised few. I started out with Jesus and I'm going through. Look at somebody and say, I'll take the steps. I'll take the steps. I know you don't understand why you're suffering, but just take the steps. The steps have been ordered by God. And whatever God begun, God will finish it in your life. Whatever you're going through, God is going to finish it. God won't leave you alone. Though you fall, God will lift you. Tell somebody say, I'll take the steps. I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them. They've been ordered by God. I'm going to take them. Step by step. Motion by motion. I'm going higher. And I'm going higher. And when you get to a certain place, certain things don't even bother you no more. When you get to a certain place, certain things people do don't even bother you. Say yeah. Certain conversations don't even interest you. You just got to get to the steps. <laughs> you just got to take the eye of God. Yeah. Right now you might be struggling in that thing. Yeah. But just take the steps. Yeah. Prophet, just take the steps. Yeah. And when you take the steps, yeah, God is going to cause you to go into a wealthy place. Yeah. They didn't say nothing yeah, when I was struggling. They didn't say nothing when I was living from paycheck to paycheck. They didn't say anything when I was living in a house that wasn't even fit to live in. They didn't say anything when I had to find a way to feed my children. They didn't say anything when there was nobody for me to preach to. They didn't say anything when I was so broke I couldn't pay attention. They didn't say anything when I wanted to shut the doors and not do it no more. They didn't say anything but I kept on stepping. I kept on walking. I kept on taking the steps. Misunderstood. But I took the steps. Ostracized and criticized. But you took the steps. Oh, but when God get through with me. When God get through. I feel good. When God get through with me. I'm coming for like pure gold now that I'm blessed now that I'm in my wealthy place I don't care what you gotta say yep say yeah say yeah you remember what it felt like to have to go through the cracks of the chairs to find pennies to put gas in our car to go to Durham where we were required to be every Wednesday every Friday first second third fourth Sunday second Sunday night fourth Sunday night I was required to be there broke as a joke didn't have no gas but I had to go through and find gas money and put pennies together to drive my old 1989 Chevy Cavalier. Y'all don't like my talk up in here. I was taking the steps. I was telling you, I feel like preaching now. I was taking the steps. When I started the church and preach with just my wife and my baby boy, one white woman and her mixed baby. That's all I had. Started in my house. Moved from the house to 807 North Smithfield. And folk get froggy and they'll leap away and go. And I can remember preaching to a church with nobody in it. Wife at home just had another baby. I'm inside the building and it began to storm and rain. And just like it was raining on the outside, it was raining in my soul. 
because I'm like, Lord, did I make a mistake? Did I not hear you right? Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. But I'm so glad I kept the doors open. Because that one night that the doors was open, there come a mother walking in to be in service. And I left the door open for just one woman to come in. I'm so glad that I took the steps. Can I preach like I feel it? I remember one night I was in service preaching and there was nobody in the building. I testified by myself. I sung the first song by myself. I preached the first message by myself. I raised the offering and paid it by myself. The door swung open and here come my pastor walking in. And when they walked in, Hey man, they walked to the back. Yep. Holy Ghost opened my eyes yep. and let me see what they were doing. Yep. They were in the back laughing yep. because there wasn't nobody in the building. Yep. Folk will laugh at you yep. when it look like you ain't doing well. Folk will laugh at you yep. when you look like you struggling. Yep. Folk will laugh at you yep. when it look like ain't nothing going on. Yep. Thank you, Jesus. Yep. I said they were laughing, yep. but I come to tell you. Yep. They ain't laughing now. They ain't laughing now. Hallelujah. Let folk laugh at you. Let folk cast you aside. Keep taking the step. If you a business owner, despise not the day of small beginnings. Keep taking the step. Keep taking the step. Keep taking the step. God didn't call you to compromise. God called you to take over. Keep taking the step. So when you hear me preaching, experience is talking. Hey, take the steps. Y'all don't understand. When you hear me preaching, it's not theory. Faith for me is not a theory. You live with me a whole year. We had to live by faith. I worked a job and pastor the church. And my house still went in foreclosure. Twice. Paying the bills of the church. Been there. Done that. Need a t-shirt. And some of y'all, Johnny, come lately want me to give you everything. No. I ain't giving it to you. You got to pay the price. Greatness don't go on sale. You want my anointing? You, 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 want, you want the ability? Because it ain't over yet. Y'all look at 2493 window. This ain't it. It ain't over. I'm preaching prophetically now. It ain't over. I promise you, there are some folk that when they think about Bishop T.D. Jakes, they kick themselves in the behind. Because when he was over there at Faith Temple Pentecostal Church, up there in Smithers, West Virginia, in that little small storefront church, and they say, ain't nothing going on. Let me, I'm gone. I guarantee you right now they're kicking themselves. Because there's something about leaving when you're on the foundational part that you can't get it back even if you come back. It's different. You know why? Because they didn't want to take the steps. But when you take the steps, you earn the right to sit in these seats here. You, y'all don't want see everybody. See, everybody want us. Lord, help me, Holy Ghost. I'm, br- I'm bringing it in. People want you to level all the playing fields and so everybody can feel good. If you don't pay the price, you don't deserve to feel good. Greatness never goes on sale. Jesus said, if you suffer with me, the problem is you ain't committed to suffering. You want to look good when it looks good. And let me tell you how people do you. People pop in and pop out of your life for insurance. What do you mean? When it look good, I mean, when it look bad, I don't know where you at. I can't call you for a ham sandwich in the midnight. Why did they pop out? 
just in case you go under, your name won't be associated with mine. I can act like I don't know you. Those kind of people, I don't need them in my life. All that left couldn't stay. And all that stayed couldn't leave. So stop trying to woo people to stay in your life that want to go. Stop begging them. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Take the step. Girl, stop cheapening yourself to hold on to some guy who got you as his side piece. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let her go, bro. Everybody's standing. I'm done. Y'all got the message. Take the step. If you want an anointing, take the step. You want strength? You got to go through. I'm not going to be able to lay hands on you and say, Yea, I say unto thee, thou art anointed. And then, boom. No, 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 no. no. You got to take the step. You looking for me to take a chance on you? You need to take a chance on me. You want me to have faith in you and you don't have faith in me? Take the step. Greatness never goes on sale. Your business costs you what it costs you. And you ain't going to just give it away. Joy Fest is coming. I'm going to say this. I'm going to make this big announcement. Joy Fest is coming. Say amen. amen. Registration is out there. Those that get registered on a paying level will eat. Those that don't want that come from the top. Don't, don't, don't come to me trying to ask me, figure me out how. It ain't going to happen. It costs. Everything that we do in ministry from this point on, it costs. The next level costs. You got to pay the price. Nobody going to give it to you. And if you're looking for somebody to give it to you, you in the wrong place. I just brought up the food part, but I'm talking about everything else with ministry. If y'all going to be preachers and ministers here, it costs. You're going to lead, it costs. If you're going to put yourself in the front, being in the front means if somebody go to shooting, you're the first one to get the bullet. That's what the leader is. If you ain't in the front, you ain't no leader. If you got to hide to save your own skin, you ain't no leader. Take the steps. I want to pray for you today. Your brother that already came to the front, that's all right. I don't want to pray for you today. Because for many of you, this message has been confirmation. Yeah, we've been in church a little while today. Tell God, thank you. This message has been confirmation that God is moving you into a new level. I want to pray with you. I want to agree with you today that I'm stepping. I'm taking the steps. I'm taking the steps out of the old into the new. If that's you, come forward quickly. I'm going to take this moment. 
I refuse to keep going in the cycle. Yes, I'm willing to take the steps. It's not easy, but I'm willing. Hallelujah. I just want to agree with you today. Nothing long, nothing spooky. But now it's time to take the steps. What this prayer is going to do, it's going to say, Lord, I'm committed to taking the steps. Wherever you take me, whatever you do, whatever you prescribe for me, you know how much I can bear. You made me. You know all about me. I'm going to take the steps. I'm going to take the steps. Yes, it looks uncertain. But I'm going to take the steps. I'm nervous. It's different for me. But I'm going to take the steps. I'm getting ready to pray for you today. Father, in the name of your son Jesus, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, because forever is your word settled in the heavens. And Lord, this word has resonated in the hearts, and the minds of these your people standing before me. And they are here today, oh God, to commit themselves to the steps that is necessary to move forward. Lord, even though they have fallen. You said they will not be utterly cast down because you're going to uphold them. Ha. And not only have they been through the fire and through the water, God, you promised to bring them out into a wealthy place because they obeyed the word of God today, stepped out in faith and belief, now confirming their life that you will bring them out into the wealthy place. That their life will not continually be a struggle. But there will be promotion. There will be deliverance. There will be victory. There will be power. There will be peace. In the name of Jesus. And we call it done now. In Jesus name. In Je what I want you to do is begin to praise him now. 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 Come on. Begin to praise him now. Can you see yourself in that wealthy place? Come on, praise him. Praise him for what you see in the spirit. Oh, praise him for what you see in the spirit. He's bringing you out. He's bringing you out. He's bringing you out. He's not going to leave you like you found. He's not going to leave you like you found. He's not going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. 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 And it is so. Hey, hey. And it is so. The glory is already here. And it is so. Oh, Baba, shut tell you know that I see ya. Baba, no, 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 And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. Father, yet so the most ya. Oh, the man, the level of the host, And it is so. Eba, yes, so come on, nana, na, so ya. And it is so. Hey! And it is so. And it is so. 
And it is so. Not only is he doing it financially, business, but even spiritually. He's taking you up another step higher. Ah, glory. Thank you, sir. Well, I need you, sir. And let me say this. You've always been the person that could see spiritually. You carried things spiritually. Hallelujah. And you've been a blessing in his life spiritually. But God is about to open your eyes even the more. And a spiritual mantle is about to fall on you. And you're about to see like you've never seen before in God. Hallelujah. Your family is going to be different. So not only is he taking you up in a financial realm, but he's also taking you up in a spiritual realm. And you're going to have to pay attention to what he says. Because if he says it, it's going to happen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. My God. And combined together, there's going to be well over a seven-figure increase. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, and he's going to give you favor. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Jesus, Jesus, lift your hands, lift your hands, glory, 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 God is getting ready to give you favor, God is getting ready to give you favor, God is getting ready to give you favor, you're one phone call away from favor, do you understand what I'm saying, there's a phone call you've been waiting on, God is about to favor you, God is, and the answer is going to be yes, Oh, Baba, I know, see. Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him glory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus, do it for him now. How? Do it for him now. Do it for him now. Do it for him now, God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, help him to believe. Hallelujah. Your report. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, don't let 2022 go out before he is convinced of what you are doing in his life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, children. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, lift your hands. You're taking the step. You're taking the step. You're taking the step. God's hand is on your life. He's going to use you again. I know you felt unworthy. I know you felt unworthy. Oh, but he's going to use you. Hey. Oh, Jesus. Oh, come on, now I see you. Oh, Bobo, so tie and an ass, so tie and an ass for you. Hey, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah. Bring the lady back in the hat. Hey. I'm going to tell you what I saw. I'm going to tell you exactly what I saw. Just like God is getting ready to bless you tremendously, the enemy will try to make you discouraged right when you're standing on the precipice of your next breakthrough. You send folk that will talk to make you be discouraged about what God has spoken in your life. But what I'm telling you, it's going to happen just like he said he said don't give up don't throw in the towel because the steps are about, the steps are about to pay off and sometimes being good to folk that were being messy to you covering folk that were trying to point you out it may have seemed like you have lost but you haven't lost 
because God is going to pay you back for everything that you have went through. This is your new season. Do you understand what I'm Does this make sense to you? This is your new season. It's going to happen. December the 31st is going to mark the end of the old and the beginning of the new. Because I'm telling you, 23 is going to be a good year. Hallelujah, do me a favor. Turn around and wave goodbye. Turn around, wave goodbye. What am I waving goodbye? I'm waving goodbye to the old. And I'm welcoming and embracing the new. God is doing a new thing. Everybody He's doing a new thing. He's doing a new thing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And new will be your portion. In Jesus name. I even see a new relationship. But I ain't going to mess with that right now. I ain't going to mess with that one. I'm telling you, the old one is done. The old is done. God is doing something new. Don't fight when God starts moving things and moving people out of your life. Let them go because God is bringing you into a new place. Higher. Glory. I'll point y'all fingers to mother today because I believe mother pressed her way today. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you for mother. We thank you for her press, her drive, and her desire. I thank you because you have been with her all of her days. You have not left her. You have not forsaken her. And for that reason, we thank you. And not only that, you are not leaving her now. But there is a new and a next in her life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hey! In the name. Hey! Hey! In the name of Jesus. We trust you. We believe you. We take you at your word. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, saints, give God the glory. Hallelujah. Do me a favor. Take three steps. One, two, three. You just took a new step. God just elevated you out of the old head time I saw. You were seeing good, but God is strengthening the way that you see in the spirit. You're go- oh! God is going to strengthen your vision. God is going to strengthen your dream. And that one that you got on the altar is already done. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. You know what I want God to do for you? I want God to baptize you in the Holy Ghost. Because if God baptized you in the Holy Ghost, every demon that's riding your shoulder got to come off. If God baptized you in the Holy Ghost, every fight that you struggle with, ho, 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 Jesus, he, uh-huh, come on. Hey, da, 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 da. Hey, 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 pick him back up. Uncle Sam made you a soldier in the military. God gonna make you a soldier in the army. Hell! Hey, ta, ba, ba, ba. Oh, yeah. I see God making that man. I said, I see God making that man. Y'all better give God the praise. I see God transforming him. Oh! Oh! That's why the enemy fighting. God want to make it. He's not just going to change.
living situation. Financials, he's going to do all of that. But God is going to replenish what he lost over the years. Even in his mind and in his spirit. He's going to get his want to back. He's going to get his confidence back. He's going to get his complete joy back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God's going to use him. God's going to use him. God's going to use him. God's going to use you. You're going back to your family. You're going back to your family. God's going to use you to save your family. God's going to use you to save your family. God's going to use you to save your yeah, time, 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 time. God's going to use you. Y'all better give him the glory. Oh, oh, oh. I go back to where the trauma began. And the enemy that said you would never make it. The enemy that said you would be stuck. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. I break the spirit of addiction. I break the spirit of addiction. I break the spirit of addiction in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Use them for your glory. Use them for your glory. Use them for your glory. Use them, use them, use them, use them, use them, use them. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Now you know what I want you to do? I want you to give God the praise. Praise him. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yeah. Help him, brother. Oh. Oh. Somebody ought to say this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah! Yeah! Lord, I quit. Lord, can I get about 10 folks to just give God a praise for the new step that's coming in your life? Come on. I said give him the praise. Come on. Praise him. You're getting ready to go up another level. I said praise him. Because you're getting ready to go up another level. Praise him. Because the fight is not for nothing. Praise him. Good God Almighty. Your new is about to be your next. Praise him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Whoa. I feel God. I feel God. I feel God in this house. I feel God in this house. I feel God in this house. I feel him in this sanctuary. I feel him. I thought something was about to happen. Oh, God. Man of God, lift your hand. The Bible is about to hit your life. The Bible is about to hit your ministry. You're about to run smack into new in your life. God has preserved you. God has preserved you. Others have died, but God has left you. And because he preserved you, he's going to put a new running in your feet. He's going to put a new fire in your belly. He's going to put a word in your mouth. He's going to use you like never before. I see mountains coming down. The fight is over. The fight is over. The fight is over. In the name of Jesus. 
Oh, y'all better to go. Sometimes folks can be jealous and they don't even understand what you had to go through to get the little bit that you're holding on to. But God is about to validate you. God is about to validate you. Right before their eyes. Right before their eyes. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Y'all excuse me. I know we got to go home. We've been here a long time. But I feel God in this house. Oh, 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 I got to go. Oh, 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 he's stretching out, he's stretching out, he's stretching out, your sight is getting great. Your reach is getting strong. Sometimes the enemy want to make you feel like you can't. When God says you can. The enemy want to say no when God says yes. But this is a new season. God said take the steps. God said take the steps. He said take the steps. He said take the steps. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, tell him I'm not out here. How? Oh! 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 I tell y'all to give him the praise. Oh! 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, y'all better give him the praise. I'm higher. I'm bringing it up. I'm bringing it in. But lift your hands. Lift your hands. My God, just step out because you just surround it. Glory to God. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Because the next yes you give to God is going to shift you. Oh, my God. Fear that the next yes you give to God there is another yes down on the inside of you it's been a suppressed yes y'all better give him the praise y'all better give him the praise Oh! 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 Yeah! Somebody need to give him a yes! Yes! Lord, we got to go. Oh! 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 oh. Your next deliverance, your next breakthrough, begins with the word yes. Your next step begins with the next word yes. Will you tell them yes? Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, 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 yes. Not my will, but thy will be done. Yes, 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 yes. Lord have mercy. All right. Hallelujah. I'm just making the devil mad. Sometimes he's trying to pray against you. Sometimes he thinks that the stuff that he do is going to bind you. He'll put stuff in the atmosphere. But I just told the enemy, I didn't come to compromise. I came to take over. Oh, they quiet up. I said, I didn't come to compromise. I come to take over. I've been anointed with an apostolic anointing to loose every gift that's in. Y'all ain't hearing me. Whatever gift that's in you, God has called. Oh! Oh! 
into it. Can I say that again? Sometimes what we've been running from, God let us run right smack into it because there is a mantle over your life and God intends to use you and he intends to use you greatly. I speak to the trauma. Handosia. I command complete healing. Sotaya. And you're going to have to heal quickly. Yeah, ta, ta, ta. Because the assignment is quick. Ha, ta, ta. God's going to do a quick work. Down on the inside. And not only do I pray for the emotional, the emotional and the mental healing, but I pray for the physical healing. Mm-hmm. I go inside the chromosomes. I go inside the blood. You're not so tired. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't told me nothing, but God knows everything. And it is healed today. It is healed. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so, man, I see it. It is healed today. Hey, ho, 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 ho,